All right, thank you very much, Renu. You talk a lot about the mob, the huge mob on social media that come after people um, if you criticize Mr. Peter Obi. Yet, um, going through your timeline on social media, it is full of criticism of not just Mr. Peter Obi, of course, of the APC presidential candidate. So you have actually reading on a campaign of attacking the personality of the people running for government as opposed to facing the issues as has been encouraged again and again. So sort of you're, you're also uh, you know, guilty of what you accuse, you know, the mob that you talk about on social media. Why is it impossible for you to focus rather on your candidate that you're representing and the issues or, of what he wants to sort out, what he wants, what, what, he wants, what he wants to address, rather than the personality or the person you've called Peter Obi a liar, you've called Ashiwaju a drug lord, and so many um, unprintable names you've spoken about um, with regards to candidates? Well, that's not true. I mean, if you can tell me the unprintable names that I've said, please say say it here. That is false. I, um, is I've not used any unprintable names. Is drug lord a pleasant name? Uh, is that something you can... No, no, no. Please, can I respond to that? Yeah. Drug lord is not an unprintable name. If you are a drug lord, if first, first and foremost, if you are a thief, it is not liable to say you are a thief. How am I going to tell you that you are, if you are a thief, I'll come and meet you and say, oh, you are a nice person who uh, diplomatically likes to take things that do not belong to you? No, you are a thief. Bola Tinubu is a known drug lord. It's not an unpredictable word. I've got facts to back it up. You know, I've got documents to back it up. I spent my money. I went to Chicago. I went to the courts. I got the certified uh, uh, two uh, um, copies. Bola Tinubu is a drug lord. That is not an unprintable name. As for Peter Obi, he lied. And when you lie, you are a liar. That's not an unprintable name. In the United States, in the United Kingdom, I work in Parliament in the United Kingdom, right on the floor of Parliament. If you lie, they call you a liar. It's not an unprintable name. And I address issues. A person's integrity is part of the issues in this election. If you lie, it's part of the issues. Whether or not a, a candidate's background, if you have a background uh, with drugs, that's an issue. Look at what happened in Colombia. They had a president who had a known drug blood background. It affected their country, effectively bankrupted that country because foreign direct investment into that country almost ceased. Major banks did not want to do business with that country. These are important matters. And it is not true that I do not promote Waziri Atiku Avaka. Every day, I do a hashtag, why should I vote for Atiku? And I give reasons every single day. Consistently, I give reasons why people should vote for Atiku Avaka. So look, if we are going to run our elections and issues, you know, this, uh, this is how you're going to do it. You address integrity issues, you address you know, competence issues, and you address their background, and which is what I've been okay. doing. There is nothing of principle in what I've been saying.